up you guys in today's video i'm going to be talking about a really cool technique that i'm pretty much in love with which is andre nieri's finger style arpeggio sort of sweeps thing um, but before i get on to the actual lesson i want to invite you guys to my patreon account if you're interested in any of the notation and tabs to this lesson also the backing track that i use right at the beginning of the video you can find it right at the interactive youtube experience which is the ten dollar tier um, at my patreon account all right so i hope to see you guys there now back to the lesson so andrew neri has this amazing amazing technique where he plays different arpeggios using his fingers just his fingers which is a little nuts so i kind of found out about a way to bypass this technique through a friend of mine called Israel Romero. He's an amazing, amazing guitar player. You guys should totally check him out if you haven't. Although I know a bunch of you guys already know who he is. Um, so he showed me a way of playing some of the different sweeps or different arpeggios that Andrew Neri does um, using Swybrit picking. And you might ask why Swybrit and not just straight up sweep picking? because there are certain arpeggio patterns that actually use some string skipping. And one of the best ways to actually go over this hurdle is by using some swibrid. So let me explain that technique at the beginning, right at the first thing, and then I'll go through the actual motions of the lick that I did at the beginning of the video. So the first thing we gotta do is check out the different arpeggios. So for this lesson, I'm doing strictly seven arpeggios i mean seventh chord arpeggios um, and i'm doing them in the key of c now the first arpeggio i'm going to be doing is c major seven and check out the right hand i'm doing swibrid strictly swibrid um, style picking so at right at the beginning i'm going to be doing um, a little bit of, of sweeping so it looks like this now I'm gonna be playing strictly sweeping until that fourth string. And that's where the hybrid picking comes in. Now, whatever type of finger and string I'm gonna be playing, it's gonna depend on which note you decide to play. So you could use the third of the arpeggio on the second string, and it would look something like this. And you would just pluck it with this middle finger. Now the other one you could use is the seventh of the arpeggio and you would play it with your ring finger and it will look something like this. So already there you have two different movements that you could start applying. First one is this. And the second one is this. Now the next step would be to look at the other arpeggios within the C major scale and just apply that all over the neck so the next one would be d minor seven and it will look something like this that's the first option the second option is with the ring finger it will look something like this and then just keep going up the scale now you can pick and choose between one option or the other or play both of them depending on what you want to do the other thing you could do is add the fourth instead of the third on that second string. It will look something like this when I do it from F. If you notice, I played the third first, then the sharp 11th because this S F, and then the seventh. Next up to the G7. A minor seven. If you noticed, I actually played the minor 11th because I added that 11th on the second string, then minor seven flat five. And finally, C major seven again. So that's it for the actual technique and a simple way of applying it. All right, thanks for watching. Remember, you can follow me on any type of social media. I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, I'm also on Patreon. I want to give a huge thanks and shout out to all the guys over supporting me on Patreon. I also want to invite you guys over to my website, juanantonomusic.com, where I offer private lessons through Skype. I also have my book, The Art of Scale Weaving, and three different box sets with the guys from Guitar Tutorials. All right, thanks for watching.